But I want to get to where my horse doesn't get trigger happy. As soon as I sling that latch open, he doesn't start getting antsy. So I might come over here and lean. And just work that latch just to make sure I know what might happen. Because we're not in a hurry right now. This is a controlled situation. So I can take my time instead of just trying to get through the gate. So as I go, I'm going to pull this gate towards it. So I want to make sure my horse has a good backup. Sometimes gates coming toward horses, they can trouble them. And as I have my reins in one hand, I'm going to let my horse move the gate. Very rarely will I ever pull a gate towards my horse. I want to send my horse away from the gate. So if I can send him over a little bit, I'm going to get in his way with my reins. He didn't quite move his front end over. He, was, he had a nice side pass to him. So this gate's fairly short. I can be aware of my positioning on the gate. If I'm closer to the latch, the gate's going to open a little bit faster. So again, as I open it, I want to make sure my horse can wait. Because I might be letting traffic through here. You might be out on a, a ride and letting folks go. But again, I want to test my horse to see if I can go through some certain maneuvers just to back him up, maybe yield his hindquarters closer. And this horse, he likes to go forward, so I'm just going to get in his way right here and just back him up. The tricky thing about this is we've got a fence right here. And your horse might just be a little bit of trouble, so I'm just waiting for him to feel back. Now, before I go to the side, I'm going to wait right here at the hinge. So as I come across, I'm going to create this position where I'm perpendicular to the gate. This can be a tricky situation because at this moment, some horses that are really gate knowledgeable, they just try to swing around and they might rub your leg off. You might get in a situation where as you're coming along, you're not paying attention, you can close that gate on your leg. So I want to teach my horse just to wait through these moments because I might return to that same position. And that gate's not going to go anywhere, so I might let it go and just get my horse in a good position and just have him wait.